of the Salivation Nation. That was quick. Usually it takes a while to launch. Let me make sure this is actually working. And I'm here. Uh, let's see here. Nope. Check. Yes, I guess I am. I am here live. Wait a minute here. Just a minute. I've got to get to where I can see it and hear it. Quick. You should... Yeah, this uh, takes quite a while. Anyways, all right. So it, that opened up very, very quickly. Usually it takes a bit, but we're here. All right, very good. Welcome, everybody. It is a Friday night. Yes, indeed, or Friday evening and Friday afternoon or early afternoon, depending on where you're watching this. But we are here and we are live and in effect. we got Donald in New Mexico, who is first with a D. Rocky Mountain Bear is here. Hello, Rocky Mountain. He's been... Uh, and Donald, New Mexico is here. Both of you guys are in your second month of memberships. Thank you guys as honorary citizens. We've got Silver Wolverine is here. Good to see you, Silver Wolverine. And Days of Confused Stacker is here. Tiny Stacker is here. And I've got coffee. And yes, I've got cookies too. And these are just very, very, um, they're actually very small cookies. And uh, so we're good to go on that. So we're going to eat them. They're only 130 calories, so I'm good to go. We're going to suck on those later on. <laughs> all right, all right. But let's get into the meat of the grind for some of the comments on my Out of Steam video, which this video didn't get that many views, so it's running out of steam. Uh, it took three years after the 08 crash for gold to reach the high. This is just the beginning, and we don't know what the long-term repercussions will be. Stay calm and stack on. Eh? You will shine better than before. I agree with that, Daryl Johnson. And that is does give us some perspective for sure here. All right. All right. That might be a lot of scares. Scares 2020 coins. Yes, that's right. Um, five silver proof sets. I just bought two. I made my purchase on Silver Wolverine's suggestion because Silver Wolverine said he was going to buy two. So I thought, I better do what Silver Wolverine's doing, and I bought two, and then he goes and buys five. Now what am I going to do? Now what will I ever do? Do I need to go back and buy three more Silver Wolverine? I don't know. But Wolfie is here. I wish I had a keyboard. Wolfie mate wrote a nice little ditty, a nice happy, it was, it was, he wrote it in D minor, which is the saddest of all keys. Uh, if we could check out Wolfie's video on that, it was pretty cool. Jam on Sal, there you go, non-con streamist. Good to see you, sir. Joe is here. Hello, Joe Costello. Mm. Gia is here. Adding, adding, adding. I've been buying too. Probably, you know, it's been tough. I'm biting the bullet and buying. All right. Gold wedding ring set. Wedding set last week. Luke did. Nice. B Demon is here. Juan Ortiz is here. Good to see you. So Silver Britches says, I think you're right on a gold, Sal. The money in printing is super scary to me and what we can do to help our people. Here's a fun fact. England didn't pay off their WW2 debt uh, to the U.S. until 2006. Our great-grandchildren will probably have a corona tax. Yes, that's right. Exactly right, Silver Bridge. This, we, this is um, money that's going to go. They say, what, this $2.2 trillion costs every American about um, $16,000 and we're getting $1,200. Doesn't sound like a good deal to me, but, you know, it is what it is. All right. Glenn D is here. Good to see you. All right. Welcome, everybody. First, says uh, uh, Silver J on this Gold for Gold video. Yes, indeed. Stay tuned for the results video on that. Thank you, sir. All right. Very good, indeed. Okay. Bob Sullivan said, second, trading gold for gold. Let's explore. That's right, Bob. So we're doing what we try to hear. People who online bully are cowards. What's up? Hello. Good to see you. All right. Woo. Good luck. Thanks, Slow Stacker. Yeah. And um, I'm going to try to get a 2020 gold buffalo. That might be turn out to be a good move if I can pull that off. All right. Silver Drill Pickle is driving and listening. Well, thank you, Silver Drill Pickle. Shout out to you. Colonic Stacker is here. My coffee is here. And my cookies are here. I'm going to have a little cookie. Gonna suck on a cookie here. Mm. Good stuff. Yeah, it tastes good. Sorry to cheat once in a while. Once in a blue moon. Val Camby only has 155 employees. 
You know, I can believe it. As my guess is probably a lot of their production is somewhat automated um, as far as the striking and the like, but but that's pretty cool. That's pretty interesting. And they're shut down too, if I'm not mistaken. Hello, Speed and 108. Good to see you. Speed and 108. Welcome, sir. Thank you. Another honorary citizen. A lot of you honorary citizens are here. Very good to see you guys. Yeah, that plastic bag was loud. Yeah, double push-ups a day and not a brawl. That's right, Sterling Cannabis. I need to do some push-ups. Indeed. All right. Uh, Ernest uh, Chaparro. What do you think about Silver Sunshine Rounds? I have a few of them. Yes, indeed. I've got a half a stack of them. I think they're pretty cool. They do milk spot very easily, those Sunshine Rounds do, the newer ones with the security feature. But they're pretty cool. Uh, Rush just opened a bag of potato chips. Very good. All right, let's see here. Calvin Cooper says, Sal, uh, slurp and good luck. Yes, indeed. Thank you very much, Calvin. Yes, thank you. All right. Where are the chicks? Yeah, we don't have any chicks here. That's right. Maybe they're driving too. You never know. Luke Thompson, the question, how much is too much for premiums? In this day and age, the kind of the rules are out the window uh, because we don't know where prices are going to go. But my uh, feeling is to just look for the best deal possible. Uh, you can go to finebowlingprices.com. I think there's one way to do that. I might even post a video about that in due course. But um, yeah, just look for the best deal possible. Find the lowest premiums. Shop around to all the major bullion dealers. All right. Please rate Death Angel guitarist Rob Cavastani. I'm not as familiar with Death Angel. I know them, or I know their, some of their music, but it's the older stuff. Is he the guy that's been with them for a long time that has a really wild-shaped guitar? He's pretty good. I mean, he's no virtuoso, but he's pretty cool. Thank you, Henry Von Mug. Good to see you, sir. Yes, indeed. Silver Wolverine, if you had to guess, how many silver proof sets with W. Nichols will be produced? I think the West Point will have... Trouble opening in New York. Um, I don't know, man. Uh, it's hard to say because I don't know when that's going to open back up again. Will it be a month? Will it be they're doing that deep cleaning from your video? Uh, so I don't know. I, I can't begin to guess. Uh, if they're out a month or two, they're still going to produce a lot. Um, depends on how many people buy them as well. You know what I mean? Hello, Coins A to Z. Good to see you. Uh, that's a that's a tough one to to quantify. I don't know if they're out for two or more more months. Then my guess is they probably won't do too many. But you think about it, they're sold some 2019 sets for sale when we're well into April now. So I don't know. All right, let's see here. Silver Wolverine says Buffaloes are the best looking U.S. gold coin, but not popular in my area. My LCS would do that trade in a heartbeat. And they pay more money for gold eagles uh, uh, than gold buffaloes. Only spot for buffaloes. Wow. Interesting. That is interesting. I would think it would be it would be treated equally. But I guess, I don't know. Maybe not. Dove Season 91. Thank you so much. Happy Friday to you. Appreciate that super chat. Good to see Dove Season. Good guy's got a great channel. Yes, indeed. Mark B. Yes. Where are Sal's gals? This is a sausage fest in here. Where are the girls? We're missing them. Am I being boycotted? Did I say something sexist? What happened? Ah, Speed 108. Have you ever watched The Do on YouTube? He's a great guitarist. He also plays piano and other instruments. He mostly does reaction videos on Omega. No. Uh, the only music stuff I do watch, Mark B has sent me a video, uh, some videos from some young chick that does is a virtuoso. She is absolutely amazing guitar player. And then there's a, uh, I've seen some of Rob Scallion's videos, and then um, Lego, uh, the um, uh, Frog Leap Studios. Yeah, I've seen those. I love those parody, or his covers of these songs. Pretty cool. All right, let's see here. So, where are we at? We're moving up. Pudenda Johnson says, I just purchased a 2020 Buffalo myself. I prefer uh, the Pure Gold 999 of 49s. Yes. I do too. Awesome, Pudenda. Congratulations on your purchase. That's awesome. I hope you show up here so we can congratulate you in here. Nothing but Sal's pals here. And don't and make no mistake, I am happy for even the dudes being here. Yes, indeed. 
Glad the dudes are here. Thank you. Shadow Stack says Gold Maples are the favorite in Europe. Oh, wow. Interesting. Okay. I would think that the uh, Britannias would be, but that's pretty interesting. Hmm. Uh, let's have another cookie. Shall we? All right. All right. All right. Chad Lichtenstein, I don't think he will trade, but you never know. I'll let you know. He said, um, he said he might be open to it, but he's not going to hold it for me if somebody comes in and pays nineteen hundred dollars for it, which is what he was selling it for. Actually, one thousand nine hundred twenty-five. Then, um, yeah. If somebody comes in and buys it for that price, then it's going to, um, then I'll be gone. I won't be able to do the trade. Starling Cannabis, good to see you. All right. And Stephen Grafham is here. All right. Welcome, my friend. Okay. Gia, I think I have had 13 years of flu shots. I'm 54, female, healthy, on my fourth U.S. passport. Wow. Okay. Well, Pray you stay healthy. That's awesome. Does F mean you're female? Gia, Pacella, and a Steelers fan too. Very good. Be safe out there. Yes, indeed. All right. B and B is here. Gold digger. Good luck, mate. My LCS is closed. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, mine's on limited hours, and it's on a. Uh, I got to be buzzed in essentially. And I'm not talking about getting buzzed from a bong hit either, Sterling Cannabis. <sighs> that slurp is trying to get Barbara in here. I almost choked on that slurp. I'm so lightweight. Yes, indeed. I can't hold my own weight. Silver Heist is here. The one and the only Silver Heist. Welcome, Silver Heist. Irva Metalton. Good luck. No harm in trying. I know how you feel. I've I've got just one buffalo, but I love it. Yes. I know we need to have a Yankee cannon, that'd be cool. A whole roll of these things. Be awesome. Never seen a roll of buffaloes, though. Mm. Um, so far, the U.S. men, only 5K proof gold buffaloes. But they have a heck of a premium. Yes, they sure do. $2,400 now for one of those things. Insane in the membrane. Thank you, Keith Cross. Or Kraus, he says, thanks for spreading the knowledge on precious metals. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. All right. Your viewership means a lot. I appreciate that. Oh, man, Jenkins, I'm slurping on some coffee. Yes, indeed. And welcome. Rocky Mountain Bear, where the F is Terry and Barb. Yes. We need our chicks here. We need the sales gals. All right. Psycho Stacker says, do you recommend buying platinum right now? I think it's a, I think it's a good... Um, I still think platinum's undervalued, so um, I'm still bullish on platinum. I'm going to probably get some more. In fact, I need to get some for a particular collection I'm trying to put together. And uh, But I've got a, a piece of platinum right here that I like to kind of fondle with and toy with a little bit here. It's a, it's a maple leaf. And yeah, it's fun to hold platinum, I'll tell you what. But it's cheap in comparison. Silver High says, will the LCS want a premium on top of the one ounce AGE for the trade? Will you pay it? Uh, I'll let you know and we'll see. I kind of didn't really discuss it a whole lot, Silver Heist. I think you're still here, yeah. And uh, so um, we'll see. We'll see what they do. And will I pay it? I just depends on how much it is. If it's uh, 20 bucks, I may consider it, you know. But if anything more than that, I probably won't. Silver Smith, welcome. Good to see you. Robo Advisor says, I prefer pure gold as well, but the design of the buffalo pales in comparison to the eagle. Wish they would just make the eagle in 999. Um, you know, I tell you what, the eagle design, uh, I like it, but I wish they would have used the regular uh, St. Gaudens back of just the single eagle flying, uh, heading to the west with the sunshine rays in the background. That better complements that obverse side. It's timeless. Why they didn't do that, I don't know. I don't like the family of eagles on the on the reverse. That's my main problem with it. So, anyways, we'll see what they come up with next year. 
But next year, they're going to do another family of eagle. It'll just be a different design. Excuse me. Okay. Uh, Katie Scrapper says, I bet most stackers couldn't go a month without buying any gold and silver. You're all addicts. Yeah, I know. I tell you. It's crazy. Sure is. Mump's the word. Uh, we won't tell your LCS about premiums for trade. All right. Yeah, please don't tell them. I thank you so much for that, Silver Heist. Hmm. Silver Ripples, it's Friday again today. It sure is, Silver Ripples. Welcome. Glad you are here. All right, very good. Nomadic Diesel says, I would be very surprised if he did an even swap. But if you are a very long-time good customer, perhaps he will do you a favor. But these days, the Gold Buffalo generally commands a higher premium. I, it has been known. That's what I thought. I thought the Buffaloes would seem to, to command him. That's from what I've seen, too. Uh... Nomadic Diesel, so yes, indeed, thank you. We have 60 watching right now, 60 viewers, and 22 thumbs up. So thank you guys for being here. Uh, Stephen Grafham says, do you think the Trump checks will become valuable if uncashed? You know, a rare one would be? Yeah, that's actually a good question. Um, if you're willing to risk the $1,200 for numismatic, and besides, there's not going to be as many of those as they're trying to send out as few of those as possible, but it will have a signature on it. There is a possibility that if you get that thing graded uh, by the by a currency company, um, yeah, that's a good question. And uh, for those who currency collectors out, out there or whatever document, it may be worth uh, holding on to it, getting it graded and uh, see what happens. It'll have your name on it, though. Um, but yeah, I don't know. CCT is here. Hello, CCT. Welcome. Jamie Fox is here. Hello, Jamie Fox. Welcome. Thanks for joining in. I appreciate it. And Russ is here. I have a new sickness. It's an addiction to silver. All right. Yes, silver is an interesting. Um, it is a cool metal indeed. Massachusetts Prepper says, well, I hope he does the treat with the trade. Uh, I guess he meant trade with you so you can get something that you really want. But if not, you still have an ounce of gold. That's true, exactly. That's how I look at it, too. I'm not that worried if he doesn't trade. But um, this eagle does have a little bit of flaws in it. Um, it's got a little bit of, I don't know, marks. In the, no, not marks, but just kind of hazing on the back of it. Which I really didn't show too much, but you can kind of see it there. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Silver Wolverine, yeah, it's just a stamp. There's no way he would sign all of those uh, checks. It's just a stamp with his signature on it. Russ Sherwood says, hope your LCS goes uh, for an ad even up trade. You almost gave me a heart attack when I heard you you're going to trade a gold eagle for a split second. I thought you were going to say for more silver. Be strong, be safe, and be blessed. No, I would never trade gold for silver. Although some people say it's a good idea to considering the wide ratio that they think is going to narrow sometime soon. But you have to take into account uh, that 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 trading the ratio for gold and silver uh, um, this is not what all it's cracked up to be in terms of premiums and, and everything like that, that that could take into account there. So anyways, but thank you, Russ. Appreciate it. Uh, Siren Silver Stash says, wow, gold. Yes, indeed. Thank you. Gold, gold. C-Rod here. Yes, indeed. Salivating tis Friday, friends. Thank you so much, C-Rod. I appreciate that, my friend. $5 super chat. Welcome and hope you're doing well. The weekend is upon us. Yes. Yes, Mark B. I think as Mark B is on to something. C-Rod, maybe you can help me out here. We don't know where the Sal's gals are. There's no chicks here. Except for Gia. I think Gia is a... Gia is a, is a uh, you're female, right, Gia? So Gia is the um, is is a female. So we have one female represented here, Gia, Pasella, Pasella, which is good. All right, but yes, we are missing most of the other ladies, though. Okay, let's see here. Let's move on up. Joe Costello. Joe is Joe in here right now? Let's see. I thought Joe was in here. Let me see here. Let me make sure Joe is here because we have these responses here. Uh, he said it was perennially assigning them. May take up to six months to sign them. I don't think he's going to actually sign. I think he'll stamp them. But if he actually does sign them, then some people, yeah, that may be worth some money. We'll see here. 
Speakeasy. Sausage Fest. Yeah, indeed, except for Gia. That's right, C-Rod. Okay, Joe Costello is here. And uh, Joe, I'm going to do the the this comment here. It says, nice coin, Sal. Fractional gold is my choice. One-tenth ounce gold times ten. Way to spend one ounce gold coin. Fractional junk silver is fine too. 14 silver dimes equals 14 ways to spend an ounce of silver. That's true. All right, so here you go. That's, uh, I'm going to say well said on that. Well, which one should I choose, uh, Joe? Should I, ju should I choose well said, very nice, or you're in? But I don't know what you're in would mean. That doesn't really have the context. Hello, Harvey, Harvey Greensman. All right. So let's see here. I'm going to say well said. I think there's a big delay on this thing, so it'll be probably about a minute before he even hears me. I said that. Let's see here. I like these delays. I wish there were no delay on this live stream. All right. I'm going to eat this cookie and wait for uh, Joe's answer. <laughs> Which one of these should I choose? Um... Sterling cannabis. Yeah, I'm not a woman. I know. I'm sorry. A smooth voice. Smooth up in ya. All right. Vanessa is here. Hello. Resident cartoonist. Welcome. It's like a G and George. Okay, Gia. Okay, Gia. Okay, Gia. Thank you. Uh, Terry Rabbit David Doobie and Barbara Carbone are on a holiday. They deserve it as they are wonderful. Yes, that's true. They do deserve a holiday. Uh, they're faithful watchers, and so they deserve a break once in a while. I'm sure they could probably get tired of old Uncle Sal, <clears throat> for sure. Okay, let's see. We're waiting on Joe to um, 10 push-ups per cookie. I know, I'm here only for the chick, says Don. So which one of these should I choose, Joe, of these comments here? Well said, very nice, or you're in? Let's see. Well said. Okay, very good. Well said it is. There it is. Boom. Shalaka. All right, and I mean that with every bit of fiber of my being, Joe. Yes, I do. Jimmy Green, should I get a 2020 WPF UCAM ASE now while at regular price? If you can get it for regular price, yeah, if you can get it for regular price, I'd go for it. I have no problem with buying graded coins as long as you don't pay a premium for them. The Saint is here. Hello, good to see you, the Saint. Eric says, Sal, I'll trade you one silver buffalo for that their gold eagle. What do you say? Oh, man, it sounds like a great deal. I get a buffalo out of it. All right. Let's press Sal's button, says Wolfman Sacks. There you go. Like the like button. That'd be good. Yeah, there you go. I like that idea, Wolfie. You want to press my button? Start with that thumbs up. Uh, Paxton won't persecute, says Gia. So it's Gia Pasella. Gia. All right, Jeffrey Parks, a.k.a. Genesis, SGT Report has an excellent video out that everybody should watch, especially if you have children, okay? I don't know what it has to do. There's all right, Pamela Rice is here. We got Pamela Rice. The Sal's gal is here. Oh, man, I was hoping Eric wouldn't be here to hear me say that about the deal. But he here, he, he's here, he heard it, he heard it. Pamela Rice, who is my, she is my, uh, uh, she's my advisor. She is my secretary of the treasury. That's right. She's at the very top. Secretary of the treasury, Pamela Rice is, and she is here. Welcome. 267,379 proof silver eagles. That's crazy. Only in April. Wow. Especially with the high premiums. They're like, what, $65? I've got one of them. Yep, my Secretary of the Treasury. Yes, indeed. All right. Very good. Nice. We got picking up now. Silver is my biatch. Back up the truck. There's a finite amount of gold industry, jewelers, and electronics use from this supply. All one has to do is hope a gold meteor does not strike Earth or a huge deposit is found. But then, of course, one needs to live a long time. Well, at least 100 plus. Any way you look at it, I'm I'm sure glad I got a poop load of MSFT at 17 years ago. Way better than gold so far. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what MSFT is, but thank you, sir. All right. 
Oh, C-Rod picked up a quarter ounce American Gold Eagle MS69 NGC for $411. Nice. Great score. That's a really good price these days. Well done. Okay. Nice. Let's see here. Uh, Ken Paxton uh, from a Texas Attorney General. What did he do? Uh, no full bans. Gone overboard. Uh, Attorney General of Texas. Okay, so Gia is keeping us abreast of what's going on with the briefing, with the hearing, and they're saying there's no full bans in Texas. Okay, very good. Thank you. Microsoft stock. Okay, thanks, Silver Heist. Appreciate that. I was wondering what that was. Thank you, Don. Don and Silver Heist. Uh, MS, yeah, I'm not in the stock market, so I didn't know what that was. Thank you so much. Stack what makes you happy. There you go. Yes, indeed. That's what it's about. Indeed. Thank you so much. El Porcano is here. Coming to us from Saturday morning. El Porcano, welcome, my friend. I say cano, so I don't say no. So it doesn't sound like I'm saying porno, which I just said it. But hell, El Porno, good guy. Thank you so much, my friend, for being here. And John Smith says, while the Gold Eagles may not be as shiny as a 999 coin, the extra copper makes it more durable. That's true. I can speak of how disappointed I was with myself when I accidentally scratched a maple leaf just from transferring it to a different container. You know what? I dropped a maple leaf one time, and it hit and went thud, and there's a big old dent on the side of it. It sucked. Iranian notes from the Shah on it from 20 reals all the way up to 10,000 reals. Nice. Good collection. That's cool. Steven, there's a lady who lost her job. She wants to talk. Her job extremely affected by social distancing. I can say what her job is on here. Uh, you can say. Okay, tell me what she does. Silver Ripple, Sal, could you add piss off as a comment and drop down option? You may need to execute it. Yeah, these are these are what are suggested by YouTube. I have no control as what throws here. So Rocky Superstar, are you here? With these comments, we'll do a new thing on here. If you're inside this chat and we have these comments, I'll let you pick which one to reply here. So is Rocky Superstar still here? I thought he was here. Uh, Pamela Rice on stock of Majestic Silver. That's all. That's probably that's a pretty good buy, I think. Yes, indeed. Uh, Silversmith made good money. So Rocky Superstar. Was he in here earlier? I thought I saw Rocky. Maybe not. Maybe Maybe he wasn't here. I'm looking up through the comments. I don't see them. I do not see them. I hate this delay because i got to wait for, for a while to hear an answer if I ask a question. But He says, Sal, good luck with that trade. The premium on buffaloes is a little higher than an eagle's. I'm waiting to see if gold takes a drop to buy a buffalo. Yes, indeed. All right. Cool. Awesome. All right. Now, see if I back out of this. Okay, no, they're still, still, they're still there. But Oh, he, okay, he's here. All right, here, he's here. All right, here we go. All right. Rocky, which one of these do I choose? Fingers crossed, we shall see you and me both. Which one of those comments should I choose? Um, all right, Steven says she's a call girl. Oh, so she works for a telemarketing agency? She calls people? Uh, she calls people on the telephone? That's pretty cool. Delay was exactly 20 seconds. Wolfie noticed. All right. Any comment you want, send me a gold coin. There you go. All right. Yes, indeed. Um, So, Rocky, what do we do here on these? Fingers crossed we shall see or you and me both. You tell me what you want to do and I'll put it down there for you. And you'll know that I'll mean it no matter what. It's from the bottom of my heart. When I, whatever one of these do, we will be do, we will do it. We will do it. International Stacker, the Salvation Nation Embassy has been evacuated in Saudi Arabia. Oh my goodness. Whoa. That is awful. I wanted I wanted some representations. I want the flag to be right in the middle of the um of the head chopping place. Whatever that's called, the head chopping square. You know, I want it to go right where that blood pulls down and goes into the drain. I want the flag to be planted there. Is there a way we can make that happen? Uh Oh, he's a different Rocky. He's a Rocky. Huh? <laughs> Wrong Rocky. That's right. I'm sorry. Here I was. Uh, sorry about that, guys. What was I thinking? Well, Rocky, there you go, brother. 
Yes, you're right. We'll let you know what happens. My bad. Sorry about that. Well, I'm glad you're here too, Rocky. <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. Say six times yes, indeed. All right. Chop, chop, square. There you go. Chop, chop, square. Chop, chop, suey. Oh, my goodness gracious. International Stacker, great guy, great channel. He has been killing it on his channel lately, getting a lot of views and doing well. Yes, indeed. So check out International Stacker. Running Eagle says gold. Yes, indeed. Gold, gold, gold. Running Eagle. He likes the Eagle. Rocky Balboa. Mark B. Platt. Foot stomping music from Graham Funk. All right. Graham Funk Railroad. All right. Let's see here. Where are we at? Okay. Alan Gold. Can't wait until he tests that fake AGE. Oh, man. Yes, indeed. I've, I've actually run this thing over my little... Uh, uh, Precious metal verifier, and it is genuine, believe it or not. Uh, Steven, graphing girls who walk the streets for John can now file for unemployment. Ah, oh, interesting. Okay, wow. Fascinating, because uh, do they pay taxes? Interesting, interesting. Let's have another cookie, just for gits and shiggles, shall we? Mmm. Those are so good. Mmm. Two days left to buy salivation, salivate metal teas. Actually, that re-ups itself, but I'm not done a very good job of um, promoting the merchandise. But if you want to buy a t-shirt, <clears throat> after the two days is up, you'll be able to do it again because the campaign re resets itself, apparently. I think that's a marketing gimmick they do. It's not me. But anyways. Silver Gold Saver. I would do it. Pure gold better. Yes, indeed. I Kind of what I'm thinking, too. And I like Buffalo, the design. No, don't leave me, Sterling Cannabis. You've got to stay here. Please don't go. I know if you have to go, I understand. Tricky Guy. We need Tricky Guy here. We need Barbara Carbone here. We need Terry Rabidou here. Where's Terry? Gia, Houston Food Bank, largest in USA. I have been there. Okay, cool. Native Stacker is back. Native Stacker, I feel like I want to get you confused with Sterling Cannabis. I know I shouldn't. There's no way I should, but for some reason, in just a split second, whenever I see a comment from you or Sterling Cannabis, I think you're each other. I have no clue why that is the case. I don't know why that is the case. Chad Thomas says, cash is trash. I can see you need a certain amount to pay your bills and live on, become debt-free, and with your disposable income, buy precious metals and loaded brass. There you go. Yes, indeed. All right, let's take a slurp. Rocky Superstar is here. Now he shows up. There you go. I was calling on you earlier, but welcome, Rocky Superstar. You are a superstar. Welcome, my friend. That's where you were down there. All right, very good. Digital 1911. I prefer the AGEs. I have two. And the only way I'd try gold for gold is to get fractional AGEs. All right. Yeah, and it's all up to people's preference. Some people like the durability of the metal, for sure. Well, I'll be sleeping with all those special cookies. Yes, indeed. I will be sleeping with them in my belly as they digest. Okay. My gigolo business has taken a my gigolo business has taken a hit with the social distancing. Yes, it sure has. Yes, indeed, it sure has, Stephen. Yeah, me and Stephen go way back. I'm a client of his. Mm. Open up America again, says Pamela Rice. Yes, indeed. I want a monster box of gold eagles. I do too, acrobatic Jesus or Jesus. I'm right there with you, my friend. Paul Richards. I will do trade. I will pay you Tuesday for a hamburger today. Now, there you go. I like that. I like that deal. It sounds like a good deal to me. Okay, where are we at? We're moving on up. We're moving on up. Um, Cyber Curtain Twitcher says, Worth a try, Sal. I might try and trade some of mine for a 10 pesos. As I need one for a set. Yes, I hope you can get one. Yeah, I put together that set too, and it's pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. Terry and Barbara watching the Trump press conference. Yeah, I'm missing it too. Uh, anybody have any news from the press conference? As I'm not watching it, let me know. Any big news coming out of it, especially if there's an Acosta um, um, outrage or outburst. 
Do you think there's radiation in silver? No, it's very inert, a very safe metal. It's Yeah, there's no radiation in silver or gold. Part-time preppers. My dealer might, but been going on there for 25 years, hoping they make the trade with you. Both coins are beautiful, but I like the buffaloes a little more too. Cool, yes, I'll let you know. I'll let you know for sure. Yes, indeed. All right. Highlander Stacking is here. Hello. Happy Friday, gang. Fist bump. Thank you, sir. Highlander, welcome. Butchie Harding, welcome. Good to see you, sir. Mm. Uh, Silver Wolverine. The 2020 proof WASE shows remind me the Mint's website, so the dealers must have bought them all up. Ah, yes, that very well could be. Would not be surprised. 10,000 brothel employees filed for unemployment in Las Vegas. Well, it is legal there. All right, so they pay uh, taxes, unless the silver's from the Manhattan Project. That's true. That's true. Mm. Let's see here. Now, Donald, New Mexico says, Sal, buffaloes are the best. Horse tradings for buffaloes sounds like a great idea. Everyone should have a herd of buffaloes. I do. Yes, indeed. I agree, Donald. I've got a small herd myself. Thank you, sir. Highlander Stacker, thank you so much. There he, whoa, check it out. He found, um, <clears throat> appreciate that super chat. And he's found the uh, fist bump. Uh, fist bump. Uh, cool. That's really cool, man. Wow. That is awesome. Let's see here. You know, sadly, I can't pin that comment, but that's cool. Wolfman, but I couldn't even detect any radioactivity off the pack of my cigarettes with my little meter. Oh, you've got a little meter. That's cool. Radiation detected meter. COVID idiot metal. Oh, <laughs> my goodness, Alan Gold. How long did it take you to think of that one? You know, I've been trying to update um, uh, Dave over at the snooze unit on your condition, uh, but he won't. He won't even acknowledge me in the live stream chats because he's busy playing the Bible or some newscast or some resistance chick thing or something. I don't know what he's doing over there, but I can't. Uh, wow. Medio, uh, Gia survived the earthquake, the San Francisco earthquake, earthquake of 1989 and Hurricane Harvey Houston. Wow. Well, I'm glad you did. Um, that's tough, man. Both of those things. That earthquake was pretty bad in, in San Francisco. For sure. Okay, Silver Wolverine is watching the Trump presser. I'm awaiting for the question so we can tell them to shut up or he is leaving and they can talk to each other. I remember when he did that. I saw that live when he did that. I thought that was great, Silver Wolverine. Let me know if Jim Acosta is there. He'll be in the front row to Trump's right. And um, so, yeah, I'd be curious to see there. Yeah, so Wolfie's got a Geiger counter. Oh, my goodness gracious. Man, it's crazy. All right, let's take another slurp of some coffee to try to... All right, very good. So thank you, Donald in New Mexico, the man. knows Maddox, I'm very intrigued as to what the outcome of this endeavor yields. I will let you know. I've had to pay a premium, what have you. Uh, Stephen Grafton says, Trump's lizard coming out of the press. Wow. All right. Fiat Destroyer says... I wish you luck. Tell him there are nearly 30,000 people holding their breath and vouching for you. <laughs> All right, Fiat Destroyer, I will do that. Yes, indeed. Nay, I lost the Geiger counter. How do you detect radiation? Man, that's too bad. <clears throat> Let's see here. Yeah, Jim Acosta must have had his lunch money taken as a kid or uh, accosted. Uh Oh, man, I posted a video of 80 New York City blocks showing small businesses shuttered. Wow. All right, let's see here. I'm going to open that up in a new tab and watch. have that on cue to watch later. Um, very cool. I'm going to check that out. All right, let's see here. Um, Mark B. Okay, Mark B., you're here, Mark B., no, do not block uh, Mark B. I forbid it. I forbid you. Oh, man. C-Rod got a Geiger bar. A couple of them. Geiger bars are awesome. Congratulations, C-Rod. Did you uh, just recently acquire those? I'd love to see a videos on those. 
So, Mark B. Um, Sal, this gold coin is nice, but the buffalo is best. It's my favorite coin now. So, which one of these responses should I choose, Mark B.? Should I choose good choice, I agree with you, or mine, or mine too? Which one? International Stacker, got to run. Just upload a Saudi video. Shots fired. All right. I will check it out, International Stacker. Thank you so much, my friend. Have a good night. Michael Martin, welcome. Uh, let's see here. Now, uh, Mark B., we are waiting uh, with anxious breath on your response here. Which one of these responses should I choose? Good choice, I agree with you, or mine too? And now I won't wait too long on this because um, just for the for the sake of it. But yeah, International Stacker, thanks, my friend, for being here. I hope you have a good one. I'll check out your video here after a bit. Mm. Ah, Kyonoto, what is, what is, what is going to be this answer for Mark B? I'm awaiting. Let's see. Good choice. Good choice. All right. Very good. Good choice. There it is. And I mean that with all of my heart that it's a good choice. Silver Strike says, I know you're a coin collector and I'm not, so it would make no difference to me, but I hope you get a good trade for Buffalo you won. Thank you, Silver Strike. Yes, indeed. I'm a collector first. I, I have admitted it. I am come out of the closet to say that I am a collector. Yes, indeed. I want my stimulus gold, or I mean check, Bill 457. Yes, stay tuned. Uh, for a video on that for me, due course, due time, yes, indeed. You're right, Bill 457, you are exactly right. John Kariasosia, what rally? Gold has got to be the most controlled commodity ever. It's the most serious interest of literally every government in the world to control the price of gold. Even currency in the world sustained its confidence by stable gold price and nothing would destroy that confidence like a three or four thousand dollar gold price. The gold price of the five Dow theory, Elliott wave, Fibonacci mathematics, and the Kandifi wave cycle for the last 50 years, and even now the trillions being printed at an alarming rate, and the economies of every nation being disseminated, the price of gold is lackluster at best. Let's face it, the price is more controlled now than we've had since the gold price was fixed. Silver is a better chance on the upside, but it tends to follow gold in either direction. With the deflation and certainty, I doubt it will go anywhere but down, just my opinion. All right, well, thanks for your thoughts on that. Um, I disagree, but I think that, you know, reasonable people can, people can disagree on that stuff. So, anyways, all right. Very good. C-Rod, about a month ago uh, was and will be my last purchase with J.M. Bullion. Paid for a 10th-ounce maple, and they shipped a 20th of an ounce. Two out of my last three bars were FUBAR. Whoa, dude, that is insane. Uh, okay, he did a video. I'll have to check that out. Steve, did you just post that video? I may have missed some. I need to check that out. I hope you get, I hope you get that uh, rectified. And uh, so this is two out of the last three orders have been screwed up. That is insane, and I hope they get that fixed. That is a big deal. Oh, my goodness gracious. I'm sorry, C-Rod. Wow. Silver breath spray to kill COVID-19. Good idea, Stephen. In fact, I've got, um, let me see if we can make a call. I've got somebody's number. I've been, like I said, these scammers are not calling me as much these days. I must confess. Uh, but this one guy, he said, call my cell. I don't know his name. I'm going to assume that it is uh, Shelton again. But he posted a different number. And I'm hoping this is not going to uh, echo, which means I got to turn this thing way down. Let me know if there's an echo. The voicemail box of six three one eight six zero three four seven eight. At the tone, please record your voice message when you are. Right, we might try that a little later. Let's try to call this other number. Let's try to call Shelton back. Silver breath spray. They have nice silver-tongued breath. We'll call it the silver tongue. That's what we'll call it. I'm getting a lot of COVID-19 scams, too. 
Come on, Shelton. Answer your freaking phone, Shelton. Come on. It's frustrating. I see that spammer. Tom dropped two comments. Uh, of six, three, Cyber Twitcher, I saw that too. It's a new Tom account because I've got the other ones blocked. I saw it and I blocked them right away. Those are gone now. You won't see them when I go up on this thing. Yep. They're two different. Yeah, I saw those pretty, pretty amazingly. I will try to call this guy later. Pudenda is here. Hello, Pudenda. Welcome. Yes. We got some more female representation. Gia, let me know. Did you say you were female? I don't know if I saw that earlier. We got Pudenda, Pamela Rice is part of Sal's Gals, and I think Gia is too. Only the phone has the echo. Okay, yeah, which is, that's not good. I don't know why it's doing that, but anyways. Russ is back in to take his dogs out. Who, who, who let the dogs out? Kuna's coins, buffaloes are the best gold bullion coin ever. Yeah, I love those things. They're pretty cool. Native is here. Yeah, we're glad Pudenda Johnson is here and Pamela Rice. Awesome. Veronica Stack says, what if he says okay, but you have to chip in like 20 to 40 bucks? My top price would be 20 bucks, I think, Veronica. But I don't know. I may be tempted to do 30. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, we'll see. Uh, Gia Pacella, the bioweapons have HIV infection points. Meds had defend Truvenda Glevic. I researched it. Wow. Bioweapons have HIV. In Man, that's scary. Joe, do not open any unknown emails, especially related to beer virus. That's right. Do not do that. Medio Man is here. Medio, good to see you. Okay. Stanley Steamer, just got my first Buffalo three days ago. That's awesome. Congratulations. Great choice. Good coin. All right. Very good. Okay. Let's see here. The Mint State Americana. The gold tray was before the lockdown. I have been stream screaming that pre-33 was a steal of the century for the past year and a half. Dealers couldn't get rid of $20 saying gone to zero 1% premiums. Today, we're all $20 $20 gold pieces of a $250 premium. That's true. But that's the case with all gold bullion. They're still acting like bullion pretty much. All right. Very good. Okay. Let's see here. Uh, yeah, I need to check that. Um, took it. They did. They ended. They didn't end up making it good. Okay. So you did, did get a 10th ounce. That's good. No. See, Rod. I'm glad you did. Okay. Good luck, buddy. Thank you, Silver Britches. I appreciate that. Thank you, sir. Okay. B and B. Mmm, Sal. Why are you not saying yes, indeed? Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. There we go. Ah. So I think I missed Gia's response. To, I thought she said female, but I'm not sure. So I'm waiting on that. I hate this delay. Dang it, I hate the delay. All right. Bohr Hollow says the USSA is coming and gold is going to be the biggest enemy. Universal health care free, housing free, everything. Hard to think of anything with more risk than gold. Well, that's strange. It's the other way around. Risk is, that's what you do. It's a safe haven. So I don't understand what the, the uh, point of the comment here is. But anyways. All right. Markets, yeah, the markets uh, pretty much have closed now. So there's not a whole lot going on. They're down everywhere, which I posted a video on that today, Ozzy. Do you ever have a beer in your live streams? I have had a beer before, but it makes me want to go pee-pee. It makes me want to take a leak. I had a dark beer one time. It also makes me kind of mellow and sloppy drunk. So, uh, but yeah, yes, indeed. I have had a beer before. I'm at a beer. I need to get some more beer, actually. I need. To, I like the dark beers. I like a meaty beer, you know what I mean? The darker, the better. That kind of soothing, like a chocolate, you know, ale or something. You know, I don't know. Bill Rundle, the Gold Eagle does not contain pure gold. It contains one ounce of polluted gold. 
There's no reason for the pollution as other countries actually produce pure 999 coins. Why not? Why will not buy polluted gold eagles? Well, um, in terms of the actual amount of gold that's in the coin, there is one full ounce of gold in the coin. Um, uh, but the the other metals that are in it, in the alloy, make the coin heavier. So it's 33 point something grams as opposed to 33, 31.1. Uh, yes, I'm part, yes, indeed. I Actually, I've never been a partier. Never really been one that got drunk a whole lot. So, um, yeah. Let's see here. But I could use a good beer. Uh, let's see here. Okay, let's see here. Daniel Benedict says, as I think someone else mentioned, one should consider the capital gains tax implications too for selling it. That's true. That's right, because I think if you spend over, if you get it for over 10000 I think you are, they'll get you slappy with a 1099 form or something. Guinness Stout, yeah, that's right, Joe. All right, let's see here. Donald Robinson says, both coins are eligible for, for Roth IRA tax benefits, read legislation, staffing, establishing the U.S. Mint program. That's true. You're exactly right. Let's slurp in your honor. Boy, I hope Barbara's okay. We haven't seen Barbara. I hope she's all right. That's right. Coins A to Z is exactly right. Even a 5 nines gold coin is polluted. Uh, there's always a little bit of impurities in there, right? Or other metals. All uh, right, so that's right. <clears throat> we need a long sip, M. There you go, B. There's a long sip for Barbara. All right, very good. Silver Honda, who is not here right now, but he drives a blue Honda. Please keep us abreast of the situation. I don't think it be an even trade for the Buffalo would be more expensive. Yes, well, we shall see. I'll let you know. All right, moving ahead here. Thanks for the video, Sal. Thank you, Frickendale Special. I appreciate that for watching as we move on up the comment chain here. We're pressing along. Yes, indeed. Daniel Benedict says, preface this comment by saying that I'm not sure, that I'm sure Sal is not a counterfeiter, nor does he trade or deal on counterfeit items. Given my preface statement, one interesting point you brought up was how low below spot uh, would you have to drop your price before buyer express interest in your one ounce bar? Spot is 10K and drop your price down to 5,000. Smart potential buyers would begin to question. Well, that's true. You're right. Um, you're right. Exactly right. Um, it is a tactic of scammers, and you're right. And it have to be um, something I have to be very wary of, especially with such a rare metal. Very good point. Getting drunk usually causes me to puke a lot. That's no bueno. That's true. That's right. We don't want silver wolverine puking, especially in a silver wolverine. One cookie left. I'm going to eat it right now. Mm. Mm. Those were good. I haven't had those in a while. Those hit the spot. How many people do we have walk, watching? 71 and 56 thumbs up. Appreciate you guys. All right. All right. And we've got uh, uh, Yahweh Yeshua uh, says, My first one ounce gold coin I bought for 1150 in 2013 when I started stacking. So it was a bittersweet feeling to buy a 2020 gold eagle for 1850 in March 2020. Yeah, I know. I hear you, my friend. Uh, but you know what? You just press on, and uh, right now you can't get buffaloes for eighteen fifty. They've gone up even higher. All right. Let's see here. Are we doing push-ups today, or just eating cookies? Yeah, I'm gonna do some push-ups here momentarily. Dove season, yes, indeed. I uh, will do some push-ups here because I did some eat some cookies and I have an exercise, so. Seems like a pointless trade, American Super Tramp. Well, uh, as far as the the uh, the ounce per ounce of the weight, you're right. It's a pointless trade, but for the design and the and the reasons I gave, it's not pointless. If you watch the video, thumbs up, go for it, says Floyd. Thank you, Floyd. Appreciate that. I will go for it. I'll let you know how it does, how it goes. 
Buffalo jerky. I've had buffalo jerky. It's actually really good. Had some buffalo jerky out in Arizona, actually. Yes, indeed. Good stuff. I love buffalo jerky. Buffalo meat is good, too. Silver Ripple says, I wish they would make a pure gold one-half ounce coin again. Not the buffalo. Something totally new. We'd all be in like that, like a fat kid with a box of donuts. Well, Silver Ripples, um, the U.S. Mint is supposed to be producing a quarter ounce gold medal honoring the Mayflower. Um, or maybe a coin. Um, so, I don't know, with the COVID thing happening, that's not, we don't know when they're going to do that, but yeah. We shall see. Grandparents used to put silver dollars in the milk to keep it fresh up to a week. Where the milk spot came from. Yeah, that's right, Joe. Perhaps it could have been. Yes, indeed. All right. Looking forward to the big trade. My LCS is closed due to COVID. I'm sorry, Barbara. I hope you come here due to COVID to this live stream. We miss you. Oldzer says, I'm with you on this more ways than one. I've had some uh, 900 fine stuff that I've contemplated exchanging for 24K in some manner, but seems it generally is a losing financial prospect. Hope you get the gold buffalo. Well, thank you. I'll let you know. Yeah, I'm, I'm prepared that he may charge me a little bit of a premium to do it. Silver Ripples. Can you say piss off Ripples with all your heart? Thank you. Piss off Ripples. There you go. All right. Piss off. All right. Kangaroo meat is good, too. Got some in the freezer. Whoa. Well, that's wild. I've never had kangaroo meat. I've never had smoked buffalo. would love to try that. But kangaroo meat, what does that taste like? And don't say chicken. I can't imagine it tastes like chicken. All right. All right. Two is one. Says, I have a few eagles. Wish I could blink and turn into buffaloes, too. I have a feeling the 2021 eagles are going to be a lot nicer looking. Good luck with no big deal. It doesn't go. The eagle is still the most liquid gold coin on the planet. That's right. Thank you, two is one. I agree with that. Oh, hardly. Uh, Silver Wolverine, my LCS is appointment only and curb service. Wow. Yes, indeed. Everybody is definitely uh, needed that indeed. All right. Piss on, pissing off for piss, pissing ripples. Uh, all right. Let's see here. Eric Shalaman says... I doubt your LCS will consider an even trade of one-to-one. -one. They will definitely charge a premium. I'll let you know. I will let you know, as I hope not. More like venison. Okay, says CCT. Thank you. I would love to try some kangaroo meat. Toy me kangaroo in a handbag, eh? That's right. Want to eat me some kangaroo, mate? Uh, money printer go burr burr. Buffaloes are the only one ounce... Gold coins I've purchased in the last year. I've done a few fractional coins of other types. Nice. Takana. Very cool. Nice. Thank you. Yes, they're beautiful coins. I do have much more buffaloes than I do eagles, but I just couldn't help it. He had a 2020. I think the reason is the 2020 year is because it's such a special year this year because of what's been going on. Uh, let's see here. Silver Smith, can I give you a stock tip? Sure. Sure thing. What's your stock? White Castles are awesome, too. C-Rod. Oh, man, thank you so much, my friend. He says he's got to head to the nursing home to check on staff and residents. Big thanks to all my medical staff, all of you out there as well. Stay calm. Stay safe. Enjoy your weekend. Well, thank you, C-Rod, for your service. And nursing homes are really ground zero for a lot of this. That's where all these outbreaks are coming along. So be safe out there, C-Rod. Thank you so much, my friend. I appreciate all you do. And for your service, yes, indeed. You're the hero and all the staff uh, there as well. Thank you so much. Joe says, King Root is like chicken. And thank you again, C-Rod. I appreciate your, your kindness there. Silver Smith stock tip. PTHRF, small oil company, found 2 billion arrows of oil next to the Hawaii Highway in Alaskan Pipeline. Wow. That's interesting, man. But oil is so cheap right now. Um, and is it on a reserve or can they just start drilling? That'd, that'd be awesome. That would be great. Uh, I don't, I've never dabbled in the stock market. I've never dabbled in it. I don't even really know where to start on that stuff, but, uh, that would be a good buy. Thank you, Silversmith. I have to get one of those apps or something like that. I don't know how to cash it out or, you know, I think the tax implications of making money off of it or trading and everything like that. I don't know, man. 
Big nursing home scandals in Quebec, says Medio Man. Oh, that's not good. All right, let's go back up here. Hey, Sal, good luck with the trade. Thank you, Terry. Where are you at, girl? Where are you at? Come on now. Come on, come on now. First says Drill Pickle. Well, thank you, Silver Drill Pickle. Silver Driving Pickle. You were driving last time. This is on the video I did today. Gold and Silver Slip on Economic Reboot Announcement. John Drake posted a Market Watch article from a while ago. I have to check that out in some due course. Uh, let's see here. First, hey, he thought he was first. Maybe next time, but thank you, Grove Mechanic, for being on the ball for that one. Third, says Old Man Jenkins. Thank you so much. Another buying opportunity sale is here. That's right, Richard. That's right. It sure is. I tell you what. Strengthen up your stacks with this stuff. Robin Hood, Jamie Foxx. Yeah, Robin Hood. That's the app I was thinking of. Thank you. Calvin Rettenton says, It's a facade. The money printing will always continue. The demand for silver will never cease. The debt will continue to stack. The inflation... And cost of living will still increase. Gold and silver will still win. I agree with that. Gold and silver remain static. And uh, so, yeah. And good. Mm. All right. Let's see here. Psycho Stacker. Copper is about to explode. Wow. You know, it'll be interesting to see what copper does. I haven't really checked it out lately, so I don't know. Uh, we shall see. <clears throat> Silver Turtle 65 says silver has been a complete disappointment in my opinion. When is silver going to sustain any real gains? We've been told over and over that silver was the most undervalued asset in a real SHTF situation the world is experiencing now and silver is doing nothing. Yes, I know the physical market is hot. Try finding an open LCS with a good deal online. No, I understand the frustration is real. It's understandable. You would think it would perform better, but it's not. Um... And I think it's going to take a little while because of how it's viewed still. But there is some pull pushback, especially given that, um, uh, you know, the physical demand for it has increased and that separation between paper and spot price. It's essentially $20 an ounce, really, uh, silver is, which are numbers we haven't seen since 2016. All right, let's see here. Full Push Metals. Good to see you. Thanks, Full Push. Appreciate you. Check out the Full Push Metals channel, and uh, when you get there, look at his logo, because he designed that himself, a very cool graphic there for Full Push Metals. He also has his own bars and own stamp, too. He's been pouring silver out in the sun. He's been pushing it real good. Uh, let's see here. All right, very good. Harry Zero, gold dip 2%. That's an invitation to start thinking about another couple of ounces. What's more, the manipulated price are frozen for the weekend. Better for assessing which events are panning out. A lot can happen 48 hours in this economic virus. That's true, Harry Zero. You're exactly right. A lot can. And this is why we do the Sunday night live streams, um, market watches, because it's been some pretty exciting uh, Sunday nights opening up uh, with the markets in Asia. Aside from the last few weeks, have been relatively uh, eh, calm, so to speak. Stephen B. Stephen B., I need more slippage to afford another ounce or two. Yes, I hear you. I hear you, my friend. Steve AUAG says, my favorite LCS will do trades with me if I want. I did plenty of silver for gold trades year ago, years ago, but now the ratio is way too far for me to do that. Perhaps right now I will uh, not be a buyer of all gold or silver until these outrageous premiums stop. $200 premiums and a gold eagle, 20 per ounce for silver spot is 15 or refuse to do it. I still have my PMs and we'll keep them, but I'm pretty disgruntled of the current situation of premiums. Until that gets corrected, I'm not buying it all. I understand that's a very common theme for a lot of people out there, Steve AUAG, but rising um, spot price and availability may squash those premiums to where you may not get those. You may get them for a very low premium in the future, but spot price may be up uh, a lot. Yeah, see here. Uh, Stephen, is Constitution of Silver, is it political? I'm not sure I understand the question. Is Constitutional Silver, is it political? 
Not sure what that means. But anyways, uh, let's see. All right, moving ahead. We got a greetings from people who online bully. A political prisoner, Michigan governor's escapade has failed. Michigan sheriff's refusing to enforce her lockdown order. Businesses are reopening the day. All right. Don't know what that has to do. Well, no, it does have to do with this video. Yes, and that's good. All right, very good. Yes, I thought that she went overboard. The Michigan governor did, uh, for sure. Some of the clothes stuff down, all right? Okay, let's see here. Where are we at? Okay, Larry Lowen, no matter what the price of gold and silver are the metals of God. That's right. The metal gods, that's right. Okay, where are we at? Um, old Man Jenkins says, Ah, shucks, I could have saved $4 if I waited two days on buying my 10-ounce gold Britannia. Oh, no biggie, I'll keep stacking. There you go, I know. It's frustrating when the price goes down after you made a purchase when it's up. But I still think it's going to go higher. As a result, I bought a two rand. All right, congratulations, Napalm Death. Very cool. I assume that's a... Uh, Krugerand, fractional Krugerand is my guess. I don't know. Okay, where are we at? Joel Johnson says there was a clear gold asset manipulation Thursday evening and before market open. Same with equities. Trading volumes are very low Friday, very obvious. Gold will pop up, pop back next week or hold. All right, Joel, thank you. Okay, yes, I think so too. Ten gods. Yeah, there you go. Ten gods. There you go. Ten. Mark B, when did your mom die? Oh, man, I'm sorry, Mark B. Uh, his mom passed away. I'm sorry to hear that, Mark B. Man, that's awful. Awful news. I know what that's like. I hope she didn't die from the coronavirus. Man. Stephen Pascone, of course, the price of gold and silver got smashed on Friday. Always seems to happen on Friday. Things might be getting back to normal, spoofing manipulation. Yeah, we'll see. We shall see. I, you know, I'd rather them go down and stay down because of, uh, of um, you know, the, um, the economy improving. Let's see. Do you think I could be a member of Sal's Gals, Vanessa? Yeah, no, you're in a special category all your own for reasons that uh, we talked about before. But yes, indeed. All right, let's see. Silver Wolverine, Michigan governor's trying to get on the Biden ticket for VP. Yeah, I think she kind of lost her chance after that. After what she's been pulling off. Really draconian measures she's taken up there. Um, I know she was in the short running, but I think it's going to be Klobuchar. I think he's going to choose Klobuchar because she performed fairly well in the debates and um, is actually articulate and is a moderate, but we'll see. I think he'd be fooled to choose Kamala Harris, but uh, but anyways, but yes, indeed. All right. Silverholic says, took the opportunity to order some gold and silver today. This is just a law. I'm going to go crashing down again. Mark my words, we are in the... Th this thing for several months at best. Only a vaccine is available when a true recovery can begin. Until then, the economy will be slow. Yes. I think so. And a vaccine is a misnomer because it's very, very difficult to get a vaccine to stop a, a, a virus. Really, the correct word is a booster shot. You know what I mean? Because if you don't, there's no such thing as a flu vaccine. It's just a flu shot. You know what I mean? Uh, so, anyways. But, uh, all right. Great content, dude. Thank you, Cyber Curtain Twitcher. And by the way, CCT, I don't know if you're still up. Yes, he's still up. I did see it. I found those comments by the new Tom, some other account. Uh, he's been using all these other accounts. I had a video called, um, you know, Stop This Scam, which I was hoping to get more views just because of the public service announcement side of it. But uh, that guy, I found him as soon as I saw him. I was like, nope, no way. You're not getting by with it this time. And I blocked that son of a biscuit. And I found another Tom 2. There's another Tom 2. Um, and I blocked that one too. Eddie's Little Stack. Eddie's Little Stack made a good size gold order. And then gold goes down. You're welcome, people. I know. I know what you mean. Do I regret it? Nope. Getting physical gold 
The next day, all the online dealers that I've used are now sold out. There you go. All right. Yes, indeed. Richard Basquiano, at least gold don't go straight up. Uh, it'll pull back a little where stocks are going straight up in two weeks. That's the thing, too. Getting gold is going to be a problem. Premiums are going to go up. The spot price goes down and people are demanding it this so much. Barbara's here. All right, Barbara made it. She made it. We missed you, Barbara. Yes, we got Barbara. Glad you're here. Welcome. Now we are complete. Now we are complete. Except for Terry. We need Terry now. You should never calculate gains and losses in dollars. I try to always calculate in percentage. That's very true. That's true. And a lot of times we have that mindset of dollars. And I understand. Give Barbara some slurps. Yep, we gave her some slurps. Here we go. This is, we're almost done, but we'll give her another one. Oh, my goodness gracious. All right. Slip, slide away. Day after day, it says hillbilly prepping. Yes, indeed. <clears throat> okay, let's see here. Big Tech's Bullion just found an online dealer offering a 100 gram Swiss with no assay at spot. Anyone ever bought from Gainesville Coins? Yes, they're actually a pretty reputable dealer out of Florida. Seems like we found out next week if gold holds 1700 I don't think it will, uh, but long term not convinced this recent stock rally will sustain. Second quarter 2020 is going to be bad for businesses. Hope I'm wrong. Yes, I think you're right. Um, I think we're we're gonna it's gonna be tough recovery. I really do believe it. And I know Trump wants to be positive, but I don't think it's gonna it's gonna be uh, as quick. Our scary thing is I believe COVID nineteen is a stain on the common cold strain on the common cold, which also has two vaccines, no vaccines or bolster shot. That's right. Yeah, exactly. Yep. All right. West Coast Stacker would be great if the economy started to back up without any of the problems it had, but seems the Fed is still the main problem and will not allow true price discovery. Unfortunate, we have to wait till Sunday to see if the price of gold will continue to decline, giving us an opportunity to buy more. Yep, I know. It's, it's, um, you know waiting is the hardest part. Timing those buys can just rack your brain. You know what I mean? Sometimes you just got to pull the go for it. You know what I mean? All right. Let's see here. Joe, I have gold coming from Gainesville, quarter ounce gold eagle 450. Nice. Good job. All right. Very good. All right. Days and confused stacker, but will real metal price go down in price? Will real metal go down in price? That's a good question. I think it'll go down a little bit, uh, but not as much. I don't know. We'll see. Mm. Silver Smith nails it. It's the high contagion that's the problem with this virus. And it's very contagious. Very, very contagious. Okay. Futile Hertz is here. Hello. Welcome. Welcome, Futile Hertz. We're going through some comments here. Dakini Woman. I sell. I couldn't resist and bought one ounce gold. Perth Mint's 2020 Double Dragon Rectangular Coin. Today is a hundred dollars less than yesterday. I just wanted it. That's all. And I think I will really enjoy owning it. As I'm just as much a coin collector as a stacker. They have to be beautiful to look at. That's true, Dakini Woman. You're right. That's on my list to get too. Um, but it may be a little while before I can buy it. But that's awesome that you got one. Because I like to get one to complement my Double Dragon Gold Coin. Uh, round coin, not the square coin, yeah, rectangular coin. Very good. Congratulations. Eddie's little stack. I was expecting the part two to be the same video, Sal. I got two buffaloes. Um, after I got the second, both from the same dealer, I noticed they were different colors, both the same size from what I can tell, the same thickness, but I don't have a good caliper. Both also weigh 31.1 grams. My not-so-local coin shop where I go tested them for me. Both are real, just a tad off. Uh, about buying another buck cup, a buffalo. Well, yeah, I've heard of that and I've seen that. And sometimes in gold, they can be, even for the pure gold, for some reason, there can be slightly different colorization in it. I don't know what it is. If there's, sometimes there's copper spotting that can come in on the dyes or something, I don't know what it is, but it shouldn't be. Gold is gold. Especially the four nines pure gold. 
I bet it's a no, says M.M. All right, yes. He may not. He may refuse. He may refuse. We shall see. You'll find out one way or the other. Mm. Ah. Can't stop me, he says. If you're a cigar smoker or have lung or other health issues, then you do have to be proactive in avoiding this virus. That's true. You're right. I wonder if it's a hint for me to... Uh, he thinks maybe he thinks I smoke for my boys. I don't know. You know what I mean, let's try to call the scammer again while we're here. Let's try to call a scammer on the request line. Come on, come on, let's do the scam emotion. Scam emotion, scam, scam emotion. The 2020 silver ship today. Hopefully, they. Don't make any more, yes. Yeah, they will. It's in due course. You have reached the voicemail. Why does he not answer it? Three, one, eight, I'm going to call it again. I'm going to. This is just teeing me off. It really pisses me right off. Come on, answer the phone. Reach the voicemail box of six. Oh, dang it. I've seen you. Uh, have you seen the prices on Amazon for coins in general? I'm in shock after seeing some. Yeah, they're very high, Vanessa. Very high prices. Yes. Don't buy on Amazon. That's for sure. Unless you can find a really good deal, but very highly unlikely. Different years have different frosting on their gold buffaloes. Maybe a fat color. Yeah, that could be because I know that does for eagles. It does somewhat as well too. Um, the different frosting, so that could be, but it's not as likely to be the case. I wish I could, Mark B. Alan won't give me his number. He will not give me his number. Scrapper says the banks have been recapitalized. Corporate debt has been repurchased and workers will be returning to work singing Trump's praises. So boom, time's ahead. Just forget about the debt. All right. Well, we'll see here. I definitely want to be as positive as possible, but... Yeah, Manusha needs to live stream a walk in Fort Knox. That's right. I agree. That'd be nice. Up and down, up and down. Never up enough, never down enough, says Glenn D. That sums it up. That sums it up. William B. Brookenrow. Be careful. The 2005 scientific study does show efficiency of the queen and antibiotic combat malaria and anti-corona COVID. The product is readily available and being used as we listen to by doctors in the USA successfully. It's too inexpensive and really available unless the Gates uh, want a solution. I'm afraid they'll push a vaccine of their making to protect some all. I'm thinking of uh, this anti-malarial medicine does work well versus COVID-19. They will create a virus that will be worse even. Yeah, I know. It makes you wonder about the agendas behind this stuff, why they're suppressing it. Um, indeed, it's just crazy. I hope they don't do that. Don, the main driver was the announcement of the new promising drug. Uh, when that came out after the market closed, the stock market futures went up. And actually testing on volunteers with uh, promising results. So we may see a few more days to risk on. So wouldn't be surprised to see gold back, uh, pull back a little bit here. Got to think of the overall trend for gold uh, will still be higher as the stock market is, is expensive considering the economy. No crystal ball here, however. Very true. All right. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Where are we at on views here? <clears throat> 73 watching, 66 thumbs up. <clears throat> Appreciate you guys being here. Chuck Plata, Chuck Plata. Can you give us a dollar answer on a thousand dollar question? Will we, could we, or should we be concerned about Gacera being implemented? A good, bad, and indifferent, nonsensical endeavor. Your insight is always as appreciated. Have no idea what Gacera is. No clue. Can't answer it if I don't know what it is. Oh, Global Economic Security and Recovery Act. Um, I still don't know what it is. Um, uh, if there's something that the UN is proposing for New World Order, it's got to be a bad thing. CCT, late night getting there. Thank you so much for popping in. I appreciate you. Cyber Curtain Twitcher, have a good night. Thank you, sir. Oh, goody, look at uh, back to higher premiums. That's right, it says Kuna Coins. Kuna Coins, indeed. 
And his little stack, I'm salivating over the metal in the last picture. I can count um, a lot of coins there. That's right, I did show a picture in here that was pretty cool. Having my beard braided. All right, there you go, Joe. Nice. Beard braiding time. Scarf Lady is talking. Okay. Veronica, I thank you so much for popping in here uh, on a live stream and for commenting on my commenting. Well, thank you, Veronica. Pleasure to have you here. I'm gonna I'm slurping some water now, but yes indeed. All right, so we got Veronica Stacks with us. Everybody say hello to Veronica. Almost Something 20 Pacific time. Mark Williams, world is a theater. We are all being played. Yes, indeed. All right. A gold kookaburra video. Crap. Shoot. I got a few. Better late than never. Thanks, Sal. Stay healthy, metal man, on the 2020 kookaburra from the Perth Mint. Yes, I need to get another one of those. They're cool coins. Yes, indeed. Okay, let's see here. Where are we at? All right, a lot of cool symbols by Justin Lean on this. Thank you. Appreciate that. A-OK. -okay. Gia Pacella, I have an idea. Pneumonia shots for all Americans. Cause of death. Pneumonia goes sepsis. Shuts down organs. Death. That's right. Pneumonia is very dangerous. Can be very dangerous. You're right. All right. P.S. I'm adding, adding, adding. Yes, good. Bolstering up that stack, strengthening that personal reserve bank. Okay, Pamela Rice is cutting out. Don't make a big deal about it, though. Okay, all right, everybody, everybody say, sing to Pamela Rice. Pamela has got to go. For that, we really don't know. She is leaving us and doesn't want us to make a big deal. But Pamela Rice is a really cool chick. She's here every day, and she's no hick because she lives in New York, and she doesn't speak with a redneck accent, at least that I know of. So, Pamela, have a great weekend. Yes, sirree. Enjoy it all, and enjoy everything that can be. We're making a big deal out of a, her big exit. She's making her way off the stage. So, everybody say goodbye to Pam, and let's... Be without rage. There it is. That's all right. Thank you. All right. Okay. Donald in New Mexico says, 44th. Hi, Sal. After much bluster, Trump actually came out with a fairly conservative plan. And he figured out is the governors will reopen their states. He will get the credit and the governors will get the blame. Let the games begin. Did you check the one ounce South African Big Five elephant? I have seen that elephant. I'm not a buyer of it. It's okay. I don't want to get into another series, per se, with Platinum. But that is pretty cool because it's kind of one of the uh, original uh, uh, ones, uh, new things with Platinum we're seeing being used for different kinds of coins. I think that's kind of cool in a way, but yes, indeed. I hope that the governors get credit and the president gets credit. <coughs> they all deserve credit. For a, a scientific and reasonable reopening of the of the uh, of the economies. All right, thank you, Pudenda. Yes, indeed. I don't think uh, Pam she stepped out and didn't hear the big exit. But anyways, all right. Ah, uh, let's see. Okay, John Smith says, I also think gold prices will go up, which may not be a good thing. People have to realize why they call it COVID-19. The reason as such is that it's a mutating SARS virus, and that could follow as COVID-20, COVID-21, et cetera. Until vaccinations are developed, which is at least a year away, this could be a persistent problem that compromises economic activity. I agree, and I don't think there's gonna be an actual uh, vaccine. And I think it's gonna be a um, like a booster shot. <clears throat> yes, indeed. Thanks for the information, says Floyd. No problem. Thank you so much for watching. Let's move on our way up here to the comments. Okay, so all of these uses are basically things that make no sense for the individual in his workshop for 101 uses of silver, things like bandsaws, 3D printers. Essentially, in order to capitalize on these utilities, one has to essentially own an entire industry's worth of equipment. It's interesting, but I'm not, not to convince me to blow a couple thousand dollars. 
Um, well, I'm not sure that that has anything to do with the video um, because these are used in industries and things like that maybe you and I wouldn't have. It's just a, a fascinating uh, uses of silver. There's just a variety of uses of silver. That's what the video is, is, is about. It's not about us buying all this stuff like that, uh, capitalizing on it. We benefit one way or the other. Stephen, all the politicians should be stoned for closing the economy and the debt. Um, well, you know, and again, it's it's tough thing because the um, the debt, I uh, do agree with you about the debt. Ozzy, have a good night, my friend, Ozzy. But uh, I'm not so sure that I disagree with the, um, with the closing of the economy, at least in part. Um, I think there could have been better ways for it to be done. That's going to be debated. But right now, there's so much we didn't know about the virus at the time. And the fact that it is so freaking contagious. Um, so I don't know. But anyways, but I think it's time to start opening back up again. And I think they're starting to do the right thing. Wolfie, what your cat's going to do tonight? Ah, oh, man, I'm thinking I'm going to pet him. Snuggle with him as my guest. Wish I had a beer. How about you? Vanessa, $120 for 1954 proof. Franklin, that the seller claims is PR65 when it's ungraded. Yeah, I would not steer, stay clear away from that. Unless it's actually graded, do not buy that coin. Yeah, that's, that's a, you're setting yourself up for problems for that one. Coins A to Z says, this is short-lived volatility in a genuine bull market in precious metals is normal. I'm confident that the PM market is not negatively impacted by this normal monetary dip. Yeah, I'm I'm with you on that coins A to Z. All right. Silver Turtle 65, good to see you, sir. Yes, indeed. Welcome. Silver Turtle, Barbara Carbone, the grocery store brands are loaded with fillers. Hardly any of the vitamin itself. All right. Yeah. Oh wow. That's not good. Yeah, so pure vitamins. What about Flintstone vitamins? Are they good? Because I eat those almost every day. Look at the checks to dead people and people getting one million in banned accounts. Uh, and you trust that they are doing what's best. Well, yeah, the way they're disseminating some of this stuff is not... I don't I don't like the idea. I don't like how the some of the relief is being dealt with. But we've talked about that before. I would have done it in a totally different way. For sure. But anyways, the new digital currency will be centrally controlled. Some purchases allowed, some forbidden, all known. Yep, that's a problem with digital currencies. Uh, you digitize them and you use, you go digital, they can control your spending, they can control your accounts, which is why I think cash on hand is good and gold and silver are always good. Indeed, the physical, buddy. Yes, indeed. Colorado Kid, good to see you. Good to see Colorado kid. You're right. Go back to normal. Yep, we need to get there. Because see, the thing is, uh, sooner or later, um, we're going to understand this virus a little bit better. We'll find ways to further test and do better. And uh, But there's always going to be a risk. I mean, there's risk when you live every day anyway. Um, it's just we'll be in a better position to be able to deal with it when it comes if we open up, hopefully for now. Lee Bolton, Comex is asking for protection from FOIA request. The Comex pawn zip scheme is asking for cover-up from the government. Interesting. I'm not even sure I fully understand the Comex, uh, but <clears throat> I don't know. Is that a government agency? I don't even know if it's a government agency. If it's not a government agency, it, it is, then they don't have to submit FOIA requests, but I don't know. Don, the bailout costs $16,000 per person. People get $1,200. That's the biggest transfer of wealth in history by far. The rich getting richer, the poor getting poorer, and the middle class gets screwed. As far as gold running out of steam, any anytime an asset moves in one direction too quickly, it's a pretty solid bet. There's a pullback or correction at some time. That's true. But this is a different time for sure. Agreed. Herd immunity. Yeah, herd immunity. Yeah. Uh, some of the things, and we'll see how it plays out. I know that's the one thing that... Uh, some people are saying, I think if we can um, somehow, um, you know, get get to the point where we can stave off these outbreaks that have come, because there's the experts are saying there's going to be a next wave of this thing, whether we do what we're doing or not. So we'll see. 
Andre G says, I hope the prices for physical metals will also go down and not only the spot price. Yes, I hope so too. I know what you mean. Coins A to Z likes proof gold eagles as much as I like bullion gold buffaloes. Both are, are worth owning. That's true. I agree. <clears throat> All right. Mm. Ah. Mark B, it's time to open the U.S. before the economy collapses. Stay south, stay safe, stay healthy. God bless my friend. I do agree with that. And I think this planned opening, I think, is a good idea. They're going to start with the less risk states. And um, so we can get some economic activity going again. We need it for sure. Yes, indeed. Robert Waterman says, as I said before in the last three weeks, you shouldn't buy any metal at all unless it's some ridiculously crazy deal. The market is just too volatile and there's an 80% chance you will lose money on anything you buy. Do the math if you don't believe me. Well, there's just as many people that say the exact opposite, Robert Waterman. The fact is, is no one really knows um, um, for sure exactly where they're going to go. West Coast Stackers, has it been a trend that on Fridays at PM's dip and local LCS are closed on the weekend? Um, um, I think some people can make a case for that, but I think that's really hard to really say. It really is. Coins A to Z, after you buy that uh, one ounce of osmium, you may consider doing a dedicated video on the awesome Platinum Group Metals. I would love to do that. But in order to really get the full gamut, I would also need to get an ounce of iridium. I like to get both iridium, osmium, and then platinum um, and palladium. All right, South streams are worse than explosive diarrhea. Man, Alan Gold, uh, tell me, you should go into detail about that when you respond to my email that you ignored. You ignored my email, Alan Gold. You must answer for this. I do not, and I do not accept uh, the fact that I was ignored when I asked for your phone number. I'm not going to give it out. I want to call you. We can do this right now. Respond to my email with your phone number, and you can talk about explosive diarrhea all you want. I'm, I'm going to open the line for you. Please, Alan Gold, do me this solid. Not, not runny like diarrhea. Do me the solid on it. You know what I'm saying? Can we have that? Can we make it? Can we make it happen? Medium man, when I bite the work, I, I can ignore the red lights. No traffic quieter than Christmas morning. Wow. Yeah. Tell you what, it's, it's quite interesting what's been going on here. Quite interesting indeed. Uh, all right, we've got more. Tico, try and project six months to one year out. Silver and gold may fluctuate. Gold, 1450 to 2000. Silver, 12 to 20. Take the midpoints example. If your silver range is 12 to 16 spot, silver's midpoint is 16. Anything below 16 is a buy over 16 is a hold. Sell it or think about. That's my, only my opinion. My financial advisor is silver stack. Well, that's definitely one way to look at it, averaging what the things are. But yeah. Now let's see here. All right. Alan is not answering me. Why is Alan not answering me? I don't, I'm confused. Jacko here says, PM's rise is never going to uh, be a straight line up. Expect some downside from time to time. But the overall trend is up for uh, at least a few years ahead. Right now, there is far more upside than downside of all that. There is no doubt at all. <clears throat> all right. Yes, indeed. Thank you, Jacko. It's happening because I have gold. Not Allen in the mail. All right. That's it. That's what it is. Fellow silver enthusiasts, would you all agree that Sullivan Metal has the main check-in platform on its YouTube channel for silver humor updates and discussions? Please give a big wave for Sal. Thanks, Joe. Appreciate that. I think most would agree except for Alan Gold. Yes, indeed. We're going to get an eight ball of radium. I don't know, man. Good question. Medium Man, hello to Barb and Terry and Donald. Well, Terry has been AWOL, but we have Barb here, and Donald is here. Mm. Good luck on the trade, says Stacker2000. Thank you, 2020. Thank you so much. I'll let you know how it goes. Yes, indeed. All right. Eli says, I'm so glad to be easing back to work Plus, I've already gained back half of what I lost in my retirement account in the past three weeks. Well, that's awesome, Eli. 
It's good to see economic recovery, and it's happening for you relatively quickly. That's awesome. Ordered heavy metal of a different kind instead. New chest rig and plates. Wow, I don't know what that is. A chest rig and plates. Is that something for your boat, Century? You have to let me know. B&B, &B, Mr. Sell. What's the silver quanti uh, quantity inside the United States? Like 1,000 tons? Do you have any idea in your knowledge? Thanks. Uh, silver quantity. They have very little. They've, they've, uh, the strategic stockpile reserves are pretty much gone. They have silver for coins and things like that. The mint, but I don't know how much they have. Picking up at least a half ounce Pahlavi. Beautiful gold coins rich in history. I've seen one of those. A very small. I don't know what the unit was, but it was like a tenth of an ounce. For right around spot, but I didn't get it. Silver Wolverine. I see a lot of prepper channels. Uh, thinks we have a food shortage, but not seeing it. I don't think we have a supply problem. I don't either. In fact, uh, Sonny Perdue, in, in uh, I think two briefings ago, Trump had him on. He mentioned that uh, exactly. All right. Thank you so much, Silver Turtle. Appreciate that. He says it's a go-to source for news. No fake news here. I mean, sometimes my opinion is wrong. Sometimes I get things wrong, but I don't like to be wrong. And I like to try to just report. I don't like to, con um, you know, any conjecture about conspiracies or things like that. Nothing wrong with questioning things, but I don't like to dabble in conspiracy. Thank you so much, uh, Silver Turtle. You're the man. You got a great channel too, my friend. Very good channel. Buy the fullback, says Oat MMC. Yes, <clears throat> that's right. All right. So moving on along here, Bob Axelrod says, economy can't reboot quickly. It's easy to shut down, difficult to restart. That's right. Trump is bluffing as usual to pump up stock markets. We saw how he bluffed relentlessly during last year's phase one fiasco. Well, Bob, I will say this. He got phase one passed. Um, you know, it may not happen in the quickest timing, um, but he got it to work. Timing is a thing. Trump could still be right about the economy. It just won't happen quickly. So in other words, I don't question Trump's uh, optimism uh, per se. Um, and there's nothing wrong with being optimistic. I question his timing and it may take a while, but uh, we'll see. All right. Uh, where are we at? Okay. It is the test kit you need to avoid if you want to live. When my brothers deployed in Iraq, they were given live virus and the vaccines against anthrax. This took out nearly everyone that served in that operation. And my brothers deployed in Iraq in 2002. Many of them are also either dead or severely injured from these shots. Ooh. You know, I worry about some of that stuff too. I think you're talking about, yeah, vaccines. Um... Not the test kits, the vaccines. Um, let's see here. The dead civilian. I'm trying to help you. No ads, no e-begging. Just need you to inform to know the enemy test kits are the virus. Real Neo. <clears throat> I think you mean the the vaccines. I don't know. We'll have to see what happens. I don't want to get these helpful review. It says there's 10 there, but when I go there, there's nothing there. I'm not sure what that's about. Why that is the case. Let's see if we got any more comments here. Nope, we've run out of comments. One more try on the scammer. And then my voice is actually getting a little bit crackly here, guys. So I'm going to probably say goodnight here momentarily. Reach the voicemail box of 61860. Frustrating, the guy won't answer. Son of a... We got, uh, all right, guys, very good. We had a good time tonight, did we not? Um, and I appreciate you guys. Um, appreciate you being here. We had a good live stream. I want to wish you guys a very, very happy weekend. Multitude of gratitude. And uh, keep your feet in the stars. Keep reaching for the ground. And uh, take care. Take a squeezy. We'll see you later.